please subscribe to our channel and for latest update click on the bell icon so now children i am going to tell you the rules of fraction okay so coming to the first one the first rule says to get fractions as equivalent multiply or divide the numerator and denominator with same number so what do you mean by this rule children for example if i want to get say 2 by 7 and for example 14 by 49 okay now if i want to make this 2 by 7 equal to 14 by 49 what do i have to do i need to multiply or divide with the same number so now if i see the pattern 2 into 7 is 14 and 7 into 7 is 49 so if i multiply the numerator and denominator with the same number 7 the number given will become same 14 by 49 will be equal to 14 by 49 okay so this is the first rule clear coming to the second rule the second rule says fractions with same denominator are like fraction now for example if i have say 4 by 7 2 by 7 5 by 7 okay so these are called as like fraction why because here the denominator is same so now it is easy for me to arrange it in the ascending or descending order so how will i arrange it in ascending order descending order so this i can write as 2 by 7 then i will write 4 by 7 then i will write 5 by 7 clear so now the next rule comes in fractions with different denominators are unlike fractions So what do you mean by this children For example if i have say 5 by 9 5 by 11 In this case if you see this number and this number are different Right so these are called as unlike fraction Okay so now if i have to arrange this in ascending order i will write 5 by 11 is less than 5 by 7 so in this case 2 by 7 is less than 4 by 7 is less than 5 by 7 so this goes in the ascending order the way how we find for the whole numbers whereas in this case the number with a greater denominator comes first why because if suppose i have to divide it in 11 parts say 1 2 3 4 5 6 so let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay 
Now, if I am going to shade five parts, say one, two, three, four, five. So this can be written as five by eleven. Now the same thing, I am going to divide this into seven parts. So this becomes one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now if I am shading 5 by 7, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So if you see this portion, this is less than this one. When we have denominator more, when we have to divide the share more, in that case the proportion becomes less. Whereas if we have the denominator, denominator less, then the proportion consumed is more. So whenever you have an unlike fraction, the denominator's value, whichever is higher, will be the lesser one compared to the denominator with the lesser value. So are you clear with these rules, children? So there are few more rules which I want to tell you before we start with the sums that we are going to solve together. Okay? So there are some more set of rules. Now, the next rule says that in case of addition, if denominator is like fraction, like fraction is something which we learned just now, right, where the denominators are same. For example, we need to, we add the numerator. For example, if I have 3 by 7, 4 by 7, for example. So now, I have the denominator both as the same number 7. So how will I add it? I will keep this as 7 and then 3 plus 4, which will be 7 by 7, which is nothing but 1, which is my whole number. Okay. The same thing applies for subtraction as well. In case of subtraction, if denominator again is like fraction, okay, we subtract the numerator. How? I have 5 by 7, I have 3 by 7. So how will I do it? Again I will keep denominator same 5 minus 3 which is nothing but 2 by 7. Clear? So now the next thing which we know 1 by 2 is called as half, 1 by 3 is called as one third, 1 by 4 as 1 fourth, 1 by 10 as 1 tenth and so on, right? And if we want to make it as a whole number, we need to multiply this thing with the given denominator. For example, 1 by 2, if I multiply by 2, it becomes 2 by 2, which is a whole number. Similarly, if I want to multiply 1 by 3, I need to multiply it with 3 itself, which becomes 3 by 3 or the whole number. So, if I want to make my fraction as a whole number, I need to multiply it with the same denominator in order to make it as a whole number. And this will happen only if it is in these cases. Clear? So considering these points in mind, we are now going to solve various set of questions and we will see which are the tricky one and which are the easy one for us to solve. So ready to solve the questions children? Yes. 